Hi gang, Melissa here, and today I have a collaborative haul for you. I have stuff that I have been collecting over the past month or so, and I also have some mail goodies, and I have an announcement, and I have a thank you or three, and, 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 yeah. I think that's about it. I think that will be enough. I am going to try and keep this video from being ridiculously long. Um, all right, I'm going to start with my announcement real quick. It's not my announcement. It's a collaborative announcement. And, um, you know, I really did not even want to put this out on my channel because I was, I, I don't know, I didn't want the whole, oh, she thinks she's some, I'm not, no, I'm nobody. I know that. But it was a joint decision between all of the ladies involved, and I am part of it, so I'm doing it. Because I said I would, so I'm doing it. Alright, um, in August, there are several of us, seven or eight of us, that are going to meet up in Chicago for a two-night trip um, to go shopping and hang out and meet up. Uh, it's several ladies that I have become good friends with during this whole YouTube adventure that I have started here over the past few months and you know we were kind of just talking about it on Twitter one day and then everyone was like hey we should really get together and you know go buy makeup and hang out and have adult beverages safely together. Um, so yeah we are and while we were talking about this uh, we decided that between all of us if anybody that subscribes to us that we talk to or, or whatever or watches might like to meet up we are gonna do a meetup for um, one of the afternoons there I think it's the 18th is when we're going so I think the meetup is the 19th but I'll have more details in the future and like I said look I not by any means sitting here going hey everybody come on and one name wants to meet me no it's not what is going on here it's not I just I'm excited about this trip and I think you might want to meet the other ladies um, Prissy and pink is going Kristen game is going um, I did my face she's going um, uh, yeah, a lipstick Vanessa. Uh, I'll be there. And I know there's Shani Banny. Hi, Shani. I've not forgotten you, Shani. Shani Banny's going. Um, and actually, a friend of Shani's is going as well. And I know I'm forgetting somebody, so I'm going to. They'll be linked. Their channels are linked below. Everybody that's going, um, please check them out. All of the ladies are awesome that are going. Um, and I'm not saying that just because we're going. I'm, these are people that, you know, I was really enjoying talking to and watching their videos before all this came up so yeah that's what's going on and uh, I think it's gonna be fun so that's out there uh, all right I'm gonna go ahead and start with my haul of things I've been collecting and uh, no random order none uh, there's no order so first thing and you probably may have seen my review on this the L'Oreal Youth Code BB cream I've done a full review on it I'll link it and when I had purchased this I picked up the magic beautifier BB and I got mine in fair and uh, a full review on this is coming and I think I'm gonna go ahead and just do it with <laughs> I've now picked up the Maybelline BB and I picked mine up in the color light to medium and uh, so I probably will review these together just for the sake of time and, and it'll make it a little bit easier. But I will say real quick, first impression on this, um, there's no smell like there is to the uh, to this and the Garnier one. No strong smell. So I was pretty pleased about that. And this one has SPF, sorry, this one has SPF 30 um, versus 15 for the other ones. So I thought that was kind of nifty, but a uh, full review will be coming. So there's that. I picked up. The Rimmel, Rimmel Lasting Finish 25 Hour Foundation because you need a 25 hour foundation when there's 24 hours in the day, don't you? You do. No, you don't. You don't need it. I don't know. Maybe some people do. Maybe firefighters that work 48 hours straight and I, I don't know. But the only reason I picked this up is because I will be doing the $20 face challenge and this is going to be part of that. So I, uh, I have tried it a few times in between and it's, it's okay. I don't love it. It's not my Revlon color stay, but uh, it's all right. I don't hate it. I don't hate it. Uh, picked up some lashes. Uh, the Ardell 110s. I don't wear them very often. I, I have them on now because <laughs> I have fake lashes on now because I screwed my wing up so bad when I was doing it in the bathroom and I, I wanted to do a video tonight but I screwed the wing up so bad that this is the only way I could think to fix it. So now that I've drawn attention to it, uh, <laughs> it's not good. But I, I know it's not good. I know it. 
All right, and the other lashes I picked up were Mod Lashes number 21 in black and uh, lashes. Uh, um, oh, from the balm when they were on Holt Look, and it is Holt Look because I saw a commercial and that's what they said. Because before I was saying Hot Look, but it's Holt Look. I, I, you may not care, it's not important. But picked the Nude Tude palette. And uh, I'm not going to swatch it. I'm sure you all have seen it. I haven't even. Uh, but there's the colors. Uh, very pretty, pretty colors. So, sure, most of you have seen it before, maybe. Also, while I was at Walgreens, Wet n Wild was having their nail polish. Well, I thought it was buy one, get one free. But it turns out it was buy two, get one free, which is still fine. But uh, I ended up getting four anyway, because... I just thought they were pretty. So I got the 208B, purpley color, 212C, red, corally, pinky color. Um, oh, that was too, okay, and this is 210C. And then this is 211B, just to show you the difference. These pinks and, you know, so this is your more corally, pinky, and then reddy pink. And then just purple. So uh, I'm excited to try the formula on these. I keep hearing really great things about this new formula, and I have not ever tried a Wet n Wild nail polish before. And as you can see, I obviously need some nail polish on my nails. So that will be happening very soon. Very soon. Also, I did pick up at uh, Kroger when I went grocery shopping because I can't ever just go grocery shopping and get what I need and leave without buying makeup. But they had uh, this for 50 cents. It was on clearance. And I've never used Maybelline Express Finish before. Uh, it says it's limited edition, but it's just a pretty pale pink color. And because uh, I don't have enough pale pink colors, I'm sure I do. That's not the point. All right. So Michelle Fan did this look video, super pretty video with this bright pink lip and in the comments below the color was pink freeze so I went ahead and picked it up uh, Maybelline 805 pink freeze from the color sensation line and I, I've already used it but uh, this is not the color in the video uh, obviously a typo or whatever but the color in the video is like a lot darker brighter pink and this is a lighter brighter pink but um it's still a pretty color but I want the color in the video so uh, I don't think I'm gonna bother emailing her because I don't think she'll care so <laughs> but that's okay um all right so I want to say it's been even four or five months ago on the Today Show there was this woman there who has a brow bar in New York City and it's called Sonia's Brow Bar Sonia 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 oh Sonia's Brow Bar crap uh Sonia's Brow Bar in New York City. And so she came on the Today Show and she showed, this is the box, she showed this new eyebrow pencil that she was actually making and manufacturing and it's gold and it's got pretty blue writing with her initials and dirt from my makeup on there. Uh, and this side, and, and this is the reason I was attracted and, and ordered this um, because of this. I love that for a brow pencil. Um, just think it's a great idea. I think it makes the application easier, obviously, you know. And, and of course, she made it look like, hey, this is the easiest thing in the world. And uh, I've tried it a few times, and I, I really, really like it. What I don't like, and on this side, there's the little spoolie there. Uh, I don't like the price. It was $25. And I just feel like I want more of a pencil for 25 not like I want longer of a pencil for $25 and um, there were some manufacturing issues with it they actually it took it took about four months for me to actually get this because they had a problem with uh, the manufacturer that's what they had a problem with and they emailed and they were nice enough to say hey we'll refund you your money if you want or if you want to keep waiting we'll add a pair of tweezers in with the order so they sent a really nice pair of tweezers with the order and I'm glad I waited because these are awesome tweezers I love tweezers these are amazing and uh, I've been pleased so far so I don't know I haven't really given it a try to see how it's gonna hold up in the humidity and the heat uh, and I need to do that but I like it so far I, again I don't, I don't love the price I don't love the price 
don't remember if I showed these or not. I just picked up two more of the Revlon balm stains. I know, I know you're sick of the balm stains. I get it, but I love them. This one is in a color that I need to find. Rendezvous. Rendezvous. And then this one is in Crush. Rendezvous. So crush. I was at Sally's the other day and I was purchasing some uh, nail polish, uh, Flip Flop Fantasy for myself and Kristen Game. And actually, I, I don't know where mine is right now, actually. But uh, yeah, so that should be here too, but uh, you just have to take my word for it to have it. Um, and the line was super long for the register. It was a Saturday morning. There was one girl working. I guess the other guy was late. Yada, yada, yada. And you know how they have all those little goodies up by the register that are really cheap, 99 cents? Well, yeah, I fell for it because I kept looking. I put it down. I picked it up, put it down. And I ended up picking it up. It's a Sally Girl Hydrating Lip Gloss. And the color is a number. I'll just list it below. Just a super pretty, fun color, and the smell is, it's delicious. It smells like frosting, it, but <laughs> do not eat this. Do not lick this. It is the worst tasting lip gloss I have ever tasted, ever, ever, ever. Ah, it's disgusting, but I like the color and I like the smell, so I'm going to continue to use it. I, for 99 cents, I cannot lick my lips. But, uh, oh, it's disgusting. It's not good. Um, and hair. I went to get my hair done did the other day. You may not be able to tell. Not the point. And um, this stuff called Simply Smooth Extend Keratin Reparative Magic Potion. Right here. Squeezy bottle, or um, squirt bottle. I don't know if it really is going to ever do anything for my hair, but... She sprayed it on my hair, and it smells like the beach. And I love the beach. It's just that coconutty, fruity. It, just, it instantly takes me to the Caribbean for a few moments. So I bought it for the smell, which may be dumb, but I love the way it smells. And I probably will continue to buy it because I love the smell. And uh, Oh, and in case I didn't tell you about this, um, I love the smell. Mm -hmm. Yes. My twin, Kristen Game. Uh, if you watch my other videos, you know who I'm talking about. I'll link her channel below. She's awesome. We're just, we're very close. We talk like 500 times a day. It's crazy. But uh, she had sent me a little package in the mail. Very nice of her. Uh, we kind of send little packages back and forth. And uh, some good goodies. Some great goodies. The, um, and it's, I've already beat it up a little bit. The Donna Karen Cashmere Mist Deodorant. And I feel a little weird because I've already put up my armpits. And I'm smelling it anyway. But I put it on my armpits clean, okay? All right, they were clean. But it's, mm, it smells so good. It smells fabulous. And I, I've used it about three times now, and it actually, it works. And I know that sounds dumb, but hear me out. I, I was wondering if maybe it wouldn't work as well as a regular deodorant, you know, because it's fancy and perfumed and I don't know. But it's, wow, I'm completely impressed with it, and uh, it's keeping me from stinking. So, I, yeah, it's good stuff. I like it. That's, that's what I'm thinking so far. And she also sent the Tarte Light Camera, Lights Camera Lashes. This is her Holy Grail Mascara. I've never tried it before. And Reluca had sent the little one too. So really excited to try this. I have high hopes for it, Kristen. Uh, if it sucks, it's on you. It's on you. No. Um, and then this L'Oreal Pink Cashmere, number 171. And I suck at swatches. But... Look, bright pink, summery, fun, fun, but like that very much. And a NYX, I have, I have one other NYX lip gloss now that I think about it. I think I said that I didn't, but I have one other one. And this one is one of the Mega Shines and it's in Sugar Pie, Sugar Pie. And I think that's just going to go very nicely over a bunch of things. It's right there. Like even you could pair it with that. Or I would. I, I layer lip product after lip product. Anytime you see anything on my lips, it's three or four products. I, I can't just wear one. I don't know why. It's always been like that. But I, I'm huge on piling on lip products. So that's right up my alley. And also she sent me a NARS Laguna. The, uh, the little trial size. I'm really excited about this because I'm having a bit, you all know what Laguna looks like. It's, it's a bronzer. There's no shimmer in it. 
Um, I have no NARS products and I feel like I'm struggling with bronzers right now. I've got the Sunny, the 720A Sunny by NYC and I have the Hula by Benefit and I don't love either one of them. I feel like, I feel like the Sunny can be a little orange. I feel like the Hula can be a little dirty. A little dirty on me, a little muddy maybe, I, but uh, I have high hopes for this. So I'm gonna check it out and see. So thank you so much, Twin. Uh, your package is headed out tomorrow. Uh, some goodies in there for you. Mm -hmm. And that, that is the end of my haul in goodies in the mail. I thank you so much, guys. I appreciate you taking the time to watch. I appreciate the comments, the interaction all of it. Um, I, I don't even know what to say. There's so many more people here than were before and I love all the people that were there to begin with but I just I'm grateful so thank you very much and I hope you guys are having a great day and uh, yeah that's it so all right we'll see you in the next one. Thanks. Bye.